Alright guys, first and foremost, as always, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I do truly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you being here as well. Now, we're going to be talking about Ganyu once more. I know I've been making a lot of videos on Ganyu. I guess I'm official simp for her at this point in time. But I thought it would be really good to talk about her artifacts because there were some things that you guys brought up in the comment section of my last video that I feel the need to go over in today's video, which I do appreciate everybody that commented on my last video and always correcting me or informing me of things that I may forget or overlook which is what happened in my last video we're gonna be talking about that here in just a second in regards to a crit rate and crit damage so I always appreciate that guys that's why I love when you go in the comment section down below and go ahead and um, correct me or provide additional information because when I do these videos there are things that I'm gonna overlook there are things that I'm gonna not mention or forget to mention so it's always truly appreciated so we're gonna be talking about that also before we get started I wanted to take the opportunity to mention that the community tab of my channel I went ahead and made this post here talking about a Q&A that I'm gonna do probably in my next video to where you guys get to ask me questions and I answer it in the video so you can get to know me a little bit better that's one of the reasons why I started doing the face cam because we've been getting a lot more um, people joining the channel joining the family which is always truly appreciated the sport is amazing and I wanted to start doing the face cam so you can get an idea of who you're supporting put a face to the voice as well as the Q&A is to have you guys get to know me a little bit better as well um, so any questions that you have go ahead and post or go ahead and put the questions um, in the comment section of this post and I will answer that on a video so that way you get to know me a little bit better and um, get to know the person behind the camera or behind the videos that you see um, and yeah uh, so just wanted to mention that so go ahead and do that and I'll answer those questions in the next video but let's go ahead and jump into what this video is all about and that is the artifact sets or the ones that I think are the best for Ganyu uh, when she drops in the game officially now of course the best one and I don't think it really needs any introduction is the Blizzard Strayer set the brand new one that we got for um, the new domain that you're able to go ahead and farm I think this one is going to be the most applicable for Ganyu the one that you're going to want to try and farm up and then place on her if you get some good ones the reason being if you do not know the two piece is the cryo damage bonus plus 15% and then the four piece bonus is when a character attacks an opponent affected by cryo their crit rate is increased by 20% if the opponent is frozen crit rate is increased by an additional 20% now I wanted to go ahead and take the opportunity to address this in my last video I was talking about how Ganyu ascension level is um, in regards to her crit damage is what's scaling up when you ascend her up where before I believe it was cryo damage so I guess that changed and so when I was speaking about the weapons I wasn't even thinking about artifacts as well as what's in her passive and in her constellations giving her additional crit rate so when I was talking about the weapons I was talking about the substat being crit rate because she's already gonna have naturally high crit damage well I totally forgot that this <laughs> artifact right here that's why I appreciate you guys so much in the comment section. You guys reminded me that this artifact set right here, which I knew about, I just totally forgot that it gives you additional crit rate. So, and in her passive as well, if we take a look at her passive um, down here, um, right here in her passive crit rate, uh, additional 20%. Um, and then I believe in her constellation, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. It might just be in that passive right there along with that artifact set. You're getting uh, additional crit rate. So um, she's going to be able to have naturally high crit rate as well. So God, you why she's going to be such a strong DPS character and why I'm so excited and simping so hard for her is because crit damage is going to be high. Crit rate is naturally going to be high and she naturally has the highest base attacks that out of any bow user it's comparable to Deluke I believe um, them having the same base attack stat so she's going to have naturally high crit rate and crit damage which is absolutely fantastic so now you can really start building her just about any way you want to you can go with her crit rate already going to be naturally in the uh, artifact set in her passive this is where you guys corrected me you can now start looking at more crit damage or even just more attack so you can go more attack more crit damage um, you can start throwing energy recharge in there if you want to to mess around with it but 
this artifact set is going to be very instrumental and crucial because of course she's a cryo character she's going to be freezing enemies naturally especially if you throw a hydro um uh teammate or ally on your team um the cryo is going to happen constantly at that point if you're doing your switches right so she's going to always have that additional crit rate and being able to do additional damage so she's going to be absolutely fantastic so that's why i think the blair or blair i combined blizzard and strayer said the blizzard strayer set is probably going to be the most applicable but there are a few other ones that i did want to mention just in case you guys wanted some alternatives now another sneaky good option that i was looking at while um looking at the artifacts is the wanderer's troop set uh the reason being not so much for the two piece set but if you wanted to go with the four piece set increases charge attack damage by 35 percent if the character uses a catalyst or a bow this might be a sneaky good option and the reason being is because i'm sure you guys are already aware if you've been watching any of the ganyu videos she has that charge level two which is a new mechanic for her that no other bow user has which is going to allow her to do considerable more damage than any other bow user because with the frost flake arrow that she does with the charge two is 205 percent and then the frost flake arrow bloom damage is that aoe cryo damage it's going to be 348 percent super significant and something that you're going to want to use with ganyu on a constant basis so um that's going to be that increased charge and you get that by an additional 35 percent the wanderer's troop now becomes a very very interesting option that you may want to test or play around with and see if you have good ones for the wanderer's troop set so for example if you've been getting bad stats or sub stats on your blizzard strayer set but you have really really good ones on the wanderer's troop that might be a sneaky good option to take a look at and see if that might be a little more beneficial now the other one that I want, wanted to also bring up is the Bloodstained Chivalry set. And once again, not so much for the two-piece set, but for the four-piece bonus, if once again, you're having some good stat rolls on your chivalry. Um, we're looking at after defeating an opponent, increased charge attack damage by 50% and reduces its stamina cost to zero for 10 seconds. Super phenomenal. Once again, very applicable to Ganyu. Once again, it may not be the most applicable. I think the Blizzard Strayer set is going to be the most advantageous one to use on her. But the Bloodstained Chivalry, if you have good stats on it and you don't have a good Blizzard Strayer set just yet, you're still in the process of farming, you can go ahead and throw this on her and see how it works out. And it may be really, really good. Um, now, I did want to go ahead and mention some um, other artifacts, uh, also some four stars, but I did also want to quickly mention this one, the Noblesse set. Um, now, you get the, of course, the two-piece set, the Elemental Burst Damage plus 20%. Now, the Elemental Burst Damage, the Noblesse, I think I would really only recommend this one. Her Elemental Burst is going to be a nice one that you're going to be wanting to pop often, but I think I would really only recommend this one if you did get Ganyu to C4. Because that C4 allows that AoE um, elemental burst to uh, do more damage. So this could be a sneaky good option if you did get her to C4. Which I know is not going to be realistic for most individuals. Um, but the 4 piece set could be interesting if you want to make her like a support as well. Um, not That's why I put this one towards the back end of the 5 stars. Because it's not one that I would truly recommend. But maybe one that you want to play around with. Especially if you get her to C4. Um, it might work out really nice, that extra damage. Um, now some four-star ones that I did want to mention because we do have new players joining Genshin Impact every day, so they may not have the ability to farm up the five stars. So some of the four stars I did want to mention just in case is the Martial Artist set. Um, the reason for this one is for the two-piece bonus, you get increased normal attack and charge attack damage by 15%. Pretty decent. And then after using the elemental skill, increases normal and charge attack damage by 25% for eight seconds. Once again, this is just as a replacement. If you have no other options, you can throw that in there. Also, I did want to mention the resolution set right here. That's why I put this one towards the back because it's not going to be one that I would recommend. But if you don't have anything else, you can throw this in here. Attack plus 18%. Four piece bonus increases charge attack crit rate by 30%. Now, like I mentioned, you guys corrected me. You guys informed me in the comment section below. Crit rate is something she's not going to have an issue with. She's not going to need the crit rate on her substats of her weapon. So I do apologize for not taking into account the artifact set that's going to apply enough crit rate and her passive applying enough crit rate for you to where her crit rate is going to be naturally high. Her crit damage is going to be naturally high. So when it comes to the artifacts, you could take a look at doing the blizzard. Um, set to where you can try and get a cryo damage bonus on the goblet 
and then um, you can start building her just about any which way that you want to. More crit damage, um, you can go more attack. I think that's probably going to be the most beneficial. You get the cryo damage bonus on the goblet, and then you go with uh, crit damage and attack as your other ones to focus on. Once again, energy recharge you can throw in there um, to have like as a good substat to focus on. And then, uh, obviously, if you want to throw in more crit rate, it's always going to be nice. So attack, crit damage, crit rate, uh, cryo damage bonus on the goblet. Having a really good Blizzard Strayer set, which is something that I'm still working on. I have a full set to go ahead and throw on her. Um, but the substats are not all that great. So I'm going to be farming up some more to try and get that. Once again, the Wanderer's Troop is going to be very interesting as well. I might take a look at that one. Also, the Chivalry is something that you can take a look at and test out. Noblesse is going to be on the lower end, but you can try that out as well, especially if you got her at C4. But nonetheless, man, Ganyu is going to be an absolute fantastic character. She's going to be super nutty. Go ahead and take another shot. And she's going to be a character that I think is going to do... A tremendous amount of damage i couldn't be more excited i think that's the reason why i've been posting so many ganyu videos lately um because i'm so super prepared i've been farming up her talents farming up her ascension materials um i have the uh hero's wits ready to go and uh i i'm just i'm super ready i can't wait i believe it's about 10 days i think we're uh 10 days until it drops uh until she drops i should say and yeah it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm actually farming up the Whopper Flowers. Those are what I'm really working on right now. The Whopper Flowers and her talent books. I need to get those. Um, and I do plan on getting, trying to get more than one Ganyu. I, I definitely want to get some dupes. That, Like I mentioned, that C4 is just juicy, boys. <laughs> it's super, super good. And uh, a C4 Ganyu right off the bat would be quite amazing quite amazing but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you like what you saw i hope it was slightly informative and once again for the i don't know fourth or fifth time thank you so much for going in the comment section down below correcting me informing me and helping me out as well when i do these videos like i mentioned earlier i know i'm gonna overlook and neglect some things or forget some things um because i'm so so hyper focus on whatever i'm talking about i may forget that there are other things in the game that help out so once again if that happened in today's video go down in the comment section down below i implore you help me out help the players out of genshin impact we have new players all the time so to help them out and also don't forget community tab of my channel q a ask me anything i'm going to answer that in the video so you get to know me better get to know who you're supporting better and um get to know why you subscribe to the channel and, and the person behind it so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed i'm gonna get out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do and until next time my boys until next time it's your homie cody and i'm out bye guys